Today I want to look into whether you need to buy an original NIOSH approved 3M mask to get good protection, or whether one of these Chinese knockoffs you can buy on Amazon is just as good. After all, they are part for part replicas of the original 3M. But is it a part to part replica where it counts? Is it made of the same materials and the same quality? Because tiny differences can make all the difference when it comes to protection. Now, this is a mask that I got free as part of the Vine program, so technically this review is sponsored but that's not gonna make any difference to how I look at the two masks and test them. So when we line the two masks up here, you can see that they are literally identical in their shape. They are part for part the same um, in terms of their shape. They've erased the markings, the 3M, these numbers, but even these little lines here got copied over to here. They kept the uh, M for medium, but it does break down a little bit. You can see that the crown straps are a little bit different. This one is bigger and fits me better. This one is small and slips off my head a little bit. Some other differences that you might note that um, this uh, gasket here is made out of foam rubber. And although they have copied the uh, basic color of the gasket and the style, uh, the actual material is not the same. This is solid rubber. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference or not, but it does give us an idea that they haven't copied everything identically in terms of function. They've copied it in terms of appearance. So let's take a look on the inside. And here you can see that the valve material is a little bit different. This valve is a piece of latex, very delicate. And here they've used a different material. And again, this material may work just as well. Uh, don't know why they chose that. Here's the exhalation valve. That's the one that really needs to work because you don't want any unfiltered air coming in through the exhalation valve. Notice that they've even copied the color identically. Here's the original 3M, same basic design, but where I notice a really significant difference that's minor but potentially problematic is here. This is a nice even 3M. They've got good quality control on their molds. This is the copy. Notice how it's wrinkled and uneven and has this big difference up here. I think this could cause uh, more leakage than you'd get on these nice wide seals here. Now, the only way to tell whether or not these masks really work is to do a test using objective measures. And for that, I have this. The first mask we're gonna test is the original 3M1 as a control, and I put this adapter that lets us take air samples from inside the mask and compare them to air outside with this other hose. And it's gonna go in between the mask and the filter. Now, before uh, I do the actual test, I'm gonna wear the mask for a few minutes to make sure I've purged out all the unfiltered air from inside the mask. Okay, um, that is a very good fit factor, 3160. The minimum passing score is 100. So that score is very good. That's a solid score out of the original 3M mask. Okay, so I have hooked up the um, Chinese respirator up to uh, the sampling system, and we're gonna test it. And as before, we're going to purge the mask for a few minutes first. I'm using their supplied filters as well so that I'm testing their entire system, the mask plus their filters, uh, and we'll see what kind of leak rate we get. Ooh, 44. Okay, um, this mask failed the uh, fit test. Um, I did feel a leak at that nose bridge area. I have fit tested this exact mask before and it passed, but that defect makes it just variable enough that it's on the cusp. And uh, a 44 is less than the passing uh, score of 100 required and way less than the thousands that the real 3M mask um, passed at. Now, the uh, variability of this copy of the mask is why it failed, and I think it was failing right here. And that's the difference between a certified mask that's NIOSH approved and made with high quality control, and this uncertified mask that's generic, that's sold by different companies under their own brand names, you don't know how good the copy you're gonna get is gonna be. You could get a great copy that might fit really well, or you might get one with a tiny defect that you might not notice that can make all the difference between it actually protecting you or not. So it's up to you to decide whether or not you wanna save a couple of dollars, but these masks aren't always that much cheaper than a real 3M. Uh, I've seen them for $13 with these two filters, 
but I've also seen that you can buy the 3M mask alone for sometimes that same price, but you have to buy the filters separately. So you might not want to try saving money by buying one of these, or you might want to give it a risk. Um, but if you don't have a fit testing machine or another way to fit test, such as an aerosol taste test fit test, I don't think you should risk it. As a bonus, I want to test just the filters alone, so I'm going to put them on this fit test adapter and test them by themselves. This is not a calibrated NIOSH test, so it won't give us uh, filtration efficiency ratings that are comparable, but it will tell us the difference between the two filters to find out whether or not they are equivalent and whether or not it was the mask that made the difference or the filters or maybe both. Okay, a fit factor of 189,000. That's a very good score. Um, and of course, there's always the possibility there's some tiny leaks in my test apparatus, but that is a very good score and we're going to compare the uh, knockoff ones in just a second. All right, so uh, these claim to be uh, NIOSH and I really doubt it, but that doesn't mean that they necessarily filter poorly, but it does mean that they're likely counterfeits. Wow, 535,000, that's a great fit factor. That means in this case, this filter is doing a great job, but unless you have a fit testing machine, you won't know that the mask you get comes with real filters or not. And that's why there is NIOSH certification and quality control. When you buy a mask from 3M or another NIOSH certified manufacturer, you know that the mask you get is gonna be the same quality and fit as the one that was tested and certified by NIOSH. When you buy a, a random mask off of uh, Amazon with no name, that's a generic Chinese copy, you don't know if the copy you get is gonna fit well or if it's gonna filter well because you could get a completely different mask and a completely different filter and you have no way of knowing the difference. And even I don't know exactly how well this filters because that takes a $100,000 machine with calibrated particle sizes and flow rates. So if you really need protection, then you should get a NIOSH certified mask. If you don't think you need protection, then you know by all means, go ahead and get one of these knockoffs, but they're not always that much cheaper than the real thing. So the savings is kind of, um, sometimes the saving is big, sometimes it's almost non-existent. So consider getting an original. Uh, this was fun to play with, but I wouldn't wear it for protection unless I really had no other choice.